France. What? France. France. And you? En français. Yeah. Oui. The girls, I'm just gonna sit down here, okay? Okay. okay. I know you told your friend you're not. Wow. Boys. They should give me 300 bowls. We'll see how it goes because, you know, it is the Philippines. Hello, miss. You want to have 20 pesos? Let me see. Ah, uh, the female. Okay. Man, I'm on the very, very top, like the center top of Ziggy Horn. Came across this, uh, it's called a healing park. But I mean, look at this is like a bench. Looks to be like 30 years old. These, I'm sure these were lookout posts at one point. Dang, kind of, I gotta say, kind of an eerie feeling, like really deserted kind of feeling. It's all, all of it's like, well, I guess it was not maintained. We'll see what's up with these peeperoonies here. Hey, we're gonna go down. What I wanna do is go down near the college area and check out the uh, peeperoonies. Somebody commented on the last vid. What did he say? This guy's so cringe or something like that. And like, yeah, hey, I'm the king of cringe, you know? Like, the thing is, everybody is not cringe. It's only me. So why are you watching this vid, man? Watch, watch those 1,000 vids where the people are not cringe. Man, this is a, man, this is a yesteryear. Look at this. Can you see this, this uh, road I'm going up? Man, this is a yesteryear kind of park, man. Hello, Kaya Beacons. Good people here. Okay, so that was, uh, what's this called? Bandilan. Mount, Mount Dandilan. Dandilan. Healing Park. Wow. This is an old park. This is a very old park. Okay, look at this road. I've been going up this road here. I think I'm at the very top right now. But look at this road. This is the very top I'm going to put a screenshot of uh, where I am, okay? But look at this. Look where we're heading. If we just keep, like, all of the roads here are connected. You could just go down any road. You will never have to backtrack. We're going to keep heading up there. And uh, what I'd really love to do is stop at some kind of a uh, Carinderia. Look at this. I don't, I don't need the bathroom, but look at this. It's a bathroom in the middle of nowhere. I wonder if it's actually functioning. I'd like to go to a little Carinderia. And uh, get a cold thing of Coca-Cola. We will check this old bathroom out. Although it doesn't look that old. I don't know if this is the male or the female. Let's check it out. Ah, the female. Okay. Very good. Very good. Just out of curiosity, for no other reason, I just want to check out the men's bathroom. They put, looks like they put new tiles on. Okay, well, here it is. I mean, the urinals are still operating, I guess. I'm going to assume that door's locked. I don't really want to touch the knob. And, uh, yeah, it's hard to, it's hard to video as I'm, uh, riding. Moto ring. But man, this is some thick forest here in Ziggy Hor. What can I say? We're just going to hop back on the Bergman and, uh, keep going. Next stop is going to be a little Karen Dairy on the side of the little road here and, uh, get some cold Coca-Cola, man. It's going to hit the old spot. I'm seeing some scratches on the lens here. I don't know if it's a real scratch. Anyway, I pulled it, this sucker here. Look at this little town here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I stopped in here. Man, this is a this is a small town. And I'm telling you, it is peaceful as can be. And we're so high, it's actually pretty cool up here. But uh, one thing I do want is a cold Coca-Cola... And it's really cool up here, so it's very nice. But I wonder, uh, let's see, I wonder. Question is, is the Coca-Cola cold? Let me ask the, uh, Ate. Yeah. Is it a cold Coca-Cola? Uh, a small one. Let me see. Sure. That's okay, sure. Meccano. Ah, uh, 20 pesos only. Oh, that's very good. Okay, where can I put my thing and down here? Ice cream? You want ice cream? I'm on a diet. I am on a diet. No, not really. No, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, what do you got here? You want to have 20 pesos? Let me see. I think I have 20 pesos. I wish there's more people here. I can find them something. Very cold. Yeah. The ice cream looks pretty good. I gotta tell you. There's a bunch of tourists down there. There's some kind of a tourist thing down there. 
Miss? Are they, is there a tourist? What is down there? Oh, that's a cave down there. We just start first if yeah. you want to go inside the cave. Oh, okay. So, Kantaban Cave. For oh, the cave. Yeah. Okay, interesting. That's yeah. why there's many uh, foreigners there. Yeah. Okay. So, the cave is down that way. Okay, well. Oh, they got like a tour thing in that white van. When we're done the Coca Cola, we're going to head down here. Hello, miss. Hi. Okay. Let's enjoy this Coca-Cola and then uh, head down. They used to have pool tables here, I guess not anymore. Man, another day of riding around, but uh, here I'm staying for the second night because I like the old place, but it was taken, and apparently it's always taken. James's homestay, okay? Look at it, it's just in the middle of nowhere, okay? But you can find it, I mean, hey, in Ziggy Hoare, I mean, hey, in Ziggy Hoare, everything is in the middle of nowhere. But look at this place, as peaceful as can be. So here is only 900 pesos. That's my bike. I parked there. And it's kind of like a house. Pretty big house. Okay, so walk right through here. They got the cutest dogs on planet Earth. Here we go, 900 pesos. Now, it doesn't look like much when you're here. But good thing is... I checked everything. I mean, everything works, right? That's the main thing. Everything works. So I'm going to show you inside the house. Got to find my keys first. I'm misplacing everything. James's homestay or rest stay or whatever it is. James's homestay. Aircon. Look, it doesn't look like much, right? They got the bed. <clears throat> it's okay. I mean, everything's okay. They got the bathroom, it's not much, but at least the main thing is they got hot water, okay? And uh, hey, you know, if you're just here for one night, you know, not bad. I mean, not bad. I mean, you don't want to live here for the rest of your life or anything, but hey, for one day, it's not bad. That's a pretty cool house. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to stay here for tonight. Then I'm heading out tomorrow. I'm not sure, either going to Dumaguete, Tegbalaran, or Cebu. I'm not sure. Still haven't decided. And the internet here is pretty good. Checking out of James's homestay here. It was all right. I mean, 900 pesos. It is what it is. But uh, I'm going to go get my receipts and then drive to uh, the port to return the bike. And then um, I'm back here at the rental place. Now, the owner of the uh, James's homestay. Look at it, it's beautiful. That's where we're going, Dumaguete. Uh, they don't give a receipt, so for most people that's perfectly fine, but uh, I wanted a receipt, but they don't give a receipt. Okay, so they'll take your money for a business, but they won't give you a receipt. It's not a good practice, but anyway, not everyone's gonna be El Perfecto. We're down here at the, just returning the old bike, and uh, they gotta contact the owner to give me my money back, because I gave a thousand, and... Um, so you can see in uh, Ziggy Hoare here, so obviously around Ziggy Hoare you can see the road that goes circles it, but what you don't really see is that when you zoom in, all of these, you can see all the different roads in there. And what I really recommend you do is just drive down as many freaking roads. And so they owe me, it was 350 a day, so that's 700 for two days. But it, I gave a thousand, so they, they should give me three hundred. We'll, we'll see how it goes, because you know it is the Philippines. You never know in the Philippines. Ah, oh, the big owner is here. Very good. Are you good? Are you a Oh, okay, my good friend. What's your name? Kadir. Kadir from Germany. He's a good man. He is a good man. All right, got my change back. Everything is good here. Hey, what's the name of this uh, shop? Aha, uh -huh. Bibing's Motorcycle. If you come to the ferry, you're going to see this lovely lady here. She's going to be holding up the sign. Hey, everything works good here. No problemos. Very good. Very good. Okay, so next stop is uh, actually buy the ticket. The 10 o'clock ferry is uh, Montenegro. And the good thing about Montenegro is it's uh, slow and steady. Hey, we got to keep positive here, folks. It is a... Hey, buddy. 
<laughs> hey, you got a YouTube channel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember you, yeah. Found yeah, I found it. I subscribed. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you. What, thank was you. Your, what was your channel? Escape? Uh, trouble Escape. Trouble Escape. I mean, trouble, is, uh, trouble with Style. Oh, Trouble with Style. Hey, very good, man. Very good. Okay, we're going to get our ticket now. Montenegro. We'll see if we pay here or... Montenegro. We're gonna go right here. Just return the bike and everything down there. The ferry's going there, but dodge. Hey my god! My good man Dari! Very good. How's it going, man? I'm gonna go in here and get a breakfast, man. There's a ferry just about to depart. I'm gonna assume that there are no chairs. Wow. A lot of pretty girls here. Okay, one, uh, uh, one breakfast, one coffee. Hey, that's going to do the trick for Scotty boy. I know you told your friend you're not. I mean, so I'll just get a uh, Americano. Hot am I gonna pour here something? Uh, for here. Uh, do you have this bread? I love this purple bread. Okay, I'll get one of those. Yeah, 110 pesos. What's that? Oh, well, perfect. Deal. Uh, girls, I'm just gonna sit down here, okay? Okay. Right. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I've got this feeling to go back to Duma. I might just go back for two days and then uh, go back to Duma. I also got this feeling to go to uh, Teg Balan and zoom around, but Duma just feels like home. So I just want to keep going back to Duma. After a couple of days in Duma, it's either going to be Dapatan or Tegbala. We're going to wait and see. Of course, there's the other option. Rent a bike in Dumaguete and circle around Negros Island. We'll see. We'll see. Hey, guys. Thank you for the great coffee, okay? Thank you, sir. All right. Hey, there's a subscriber on the coffee shop. He's offered me a, well, he's got a van here. He's offered me a ride to, okay. on the ferry, which works for me. I mean, bye-bye, girls. Bye. bye. Good bye. girls. Where, where are you from, by the way? Uh, France. Where? France. France. And you? En Francais. Uh, oui, Francais. En Francais, okay. Right. Canada. Okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you, too. I'll see you later. All right, my good man here. Just throw my bag in the old back. My good friend, uh, what's your name? Nick. Nick, Where, are you from America? Oh yeah. Very good. Okay, Nick from America. I need to get myself one of these. Are you retired? Yeah. Very good. I'm not putting it, just uh, your voice only, I'm not putting on cam. Okay. We respect privacy here. Did you like the coffee? I, it's it's really good coffee. That's a, I didn't like the coffee. You didn't? No. I think overall the food in general is better in Siki Hort than Dumaguete. Oh yeah, yeah. The food was really good. Man, what did you order there to eat? I didn't eat anything. Oh, okay, okay. No, I ate at the resort this morning. Oh. You were a retired man. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very good. No stress for this man. No stress. <laughs> no stress in the Philippines. Yes. Yeah. Well, some people have to work here, you know? Yeah. yeah. No, he's got the ideal situation. Where in America? Not exactly, but Florida uh, or California? Well, Michigan. Oh, Michigan, okay. Yeah, it's cool. called like I'm from Ontario most of the time. Well, the benefits to having a YouTube channel, man. You get to, uh, look, I, I feel like royalty. So how long you been in the Philippines this time? Well, it's about a year now. A year? Okay. Yeah, one year and uh, no no sense of going home. Yeah. I, I plan on going on. Oh, outside. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
but not to go move back, just to visit. Okay, so passengers, look at this. Beautiful here, man. They need a resort right here. So we're gonna bring our tickets, because we're passengers, we're not drivers, into, oh, we gotta pay a terminal fee too. Thanks. And I lost the white van <laughs> with all my stuff in it. Anyway, we'll, we'll get on the boat here and see if it's there. Oh, there he is. Okay, there he is. My main man here. Okay, we'll walk on and I'll check back with my main man there. He's with his girl, you know, I don't want to bother him. That's Doomy Dooms over there. Hello, my friend. Yes, sir, morning. Good old Doomy. Look at this water, I mean, geez. What I would give to just jump off into this water. You can see all the way down to the bottom. I mean, hey, I am down with this water. Hello. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Okay. All about hustle and bustle and uh, taken care of. Now, we go up here and we chillax. Look at this, adios to the great Ziggy Horror guys. Adios. This is a great kind of place to be. Maybe we go up more, let me see. Good people, very good people here. They got the comfortable chairs. Now what I wonder is if there's chairs like that upstairs so I can uh, chillax. Oh wow, look at these chairs here. But hey, look at this. Front row tickets, my good man. This is the land of luxury here in the Philippines. All this was, I think, less than five dollars. I an hour and a half. We're going straight to Dumaguete. Man, this is the land of luxury. Everything in the Philippines, everything is very simple. I love it here. Thank you. My bad, I forgot to film the check-in. You know, I like to film the check-in because sometimes there's like a hunt Baby Rooney behind the desk. But here I am. This is called the Golden Suites Hotel, okay, in Dumaguete. And I gotta say, it's pretty cheap and it's pretty nice inside. I mean, look at it. You know, it's not bad. I mean, the aircon, nice bathroom, you know, hot shower. You actually got a, I love having a shelf in the, in the, in the bathroom. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna log in. Try out the Wi-Fi, the big test. Do they have good Wi-Fi? Because that is the name of the game for a lot of peeps. Okay, let's check out the Wi-Fi. And wow, okay. Guys, this is the place to be. Look at the Wi-Fi here. This is the place to be, Golden Suites. Wow, I'm gonna upload no problemo here. What is this? Okay, Golden Gate Suites, guys. Okay, this is my new regular place here in uh, Golden Gate Suites, my new regular place here in Dumaguete. I love finding a good find. Here it is, look. That is some good internet. And it's right under a 7-Eleven. It's across the street from a Mang Inicel. Man, this is the place to be. I just paid for one more night here at this great hotel. And just so you know, on Agoda, it was 1,400. In person, I just paid downstairs. It was 1,250, okay? So yeah, just letting you know. I mean, you know, it's 150 pesos. It is what it is, but I'm just letting you know in person it was cheaper. But sometimes I remember in Iloilo, online was cheaper than in person. So you never know. Anyway, this is what you get. Just 1,250. Gonna stay in Dumaguete for a couple of days and then uh, probably head either down south to Mindanao or I'm gonna head over to uh, Bohol, I'm not sure yet. 